Hey everyone, Mark Hoover here. Talking VMAX Pro, question and answer, sponsored by our friends at Simply Faster. Today, a little bit less of the practical side uh, and, and of the use of the device. And I'm gonna talk about a couple of questions that I've been getting that I felt like, uh, you know, I'm not a sports scientist. I'm a strength coach that uses those theories and things, but I got some questions about reliability, validity, and compatibility that I didn't have the exact answers to. So I went and did some research and I've got those answers. Now, when my first initial answer, when someone would ask me about the validity, the reliability of the VMAX Pro device is, was basically, I'm more concerned with consistency. As long as that bar speed, when it says 0.37 is 0.37 every time I move that bar at that speed, I'm happy, I'm good, because that just tells me, all right, that's, that's the spot we need to be. It's kind of like with a hand-timed 40 versus a laser 40. Might be different, but you know where you, know, you, know where you need to be to get better. Uh, that is not the scientific answer. So I decided to uh, pursue that knowledge and I did some research. Uh, so found out the Max Pro has been studied. The reliability and validity has been studied. Tested at the University of Magdeburg in Germany. They used a Vicon high-speed camera system. Apparently had 35 different camera angles. Compared it with devices uh, that we consider, most of us consider the gold standard and some other devices that are in the, the, the less than gold standard range. A lot of different uh, devices there. And found out that um, the results prove very high validity and very reliable and very reliable of Emax Pro. Uh, basically said the results proven that the, prove the high validity and reliability of VMAX Pro, the determination of the pulse and force velocity curves as dominant relationship for a diagnosis can be precisely produced, reproduced with VMAX Pro. VMAX Pro's measurement accuracy reflects fatigue process and provides comprehensive information for training control. That comes from a study that you can actually uh, look at on VMAX Pro's website. Uh, they're a company out of Germany and they did multiple studies. The three I was looking at concerning were bench press, deadlift, and uh, back squat. And all the details of those studies are in there. Um, they follow all the procedures and it was done at, at a, a, you know, just like any other study would read about and proven pretty good. So that was enough for me. Uh, I would say that you know, you can, you can go out there and you can continue to argue about this and about that and about uh, which device might be a little bit off compared to another device and, 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 you know, have those debates. But ultimately, it comes back down to what they find in the lab. And what they found was it's very reliable. So I'd like to kind of put that argument to bed if we can. Uh, so that was question one for the day. Uh, very valid, very reliable. Uh, question two was about the compatibility of the device. Not quite as uh, debated and, and you know scientific as the as implementing the studies and, and, and reading through those, but what it does show is that you can download the VMAX Pro app for Android 8 or later phone or tablet on Google Play. Uh, if you're using Apple device, then you need to be have iOS 11.0 or later. That's basically the SE phone, first and second generation on, uh, up the AirPad for the iPad Air, uh, first and second generation, iPads up through from there on up, anything that has 11.0. Um, the differences. So, the big difference that I saw in the two devices is um, video recording feature. Android uh, is not available yet, yet in the video recording feature. By the time this video comes out, it could be. They're, they're constantly working uh, on this to make this a better device. 
Um, the other two features that I that I that I found, saw were both in the advanced team license um, uh, exporting data uh, area. Um, if you really want to know those, again, uh, we can get further into that. If, if you want to reach out, talk to me about that. Um, I can get a little more in-depth on that when I have a little more time. Um, the cool thing is that those things are definitely in the iOS and probably going to be fixed pretty soon. Uh, like a little bit of a teaser I've been given. I haven't given any, been given any details of it, but I've been told that the next VMAX Pro update is coming relatively soon and is going to be a game changer. So uh, told to me by someone that when they say something's going to be a game changer, it, it definitely usually is in my experience. So I'm excited to see that uh, next update just to see where this device can go. It's, it's an absolutely outstanding device. Uh, second to none that I've used in this price range. You know, talking to someone the other day about, you know, the that hold back to that reliability uh, by validity situation, you know, um, my point was at this price range, there's def, this is, this is the uh, Cadillac version of this price range. You can say that, you know, there's some other more expensive units that, that, you know, are considered to be top of the line. But as far as the, this device, the type of device and in, in, in this range, VMAX Pro is the best. There's no doubt about it. And I think that the way that they're doing updates, the last update that came out added some really cool features. I think uh, they're just going to keep getting better with it. So if you have any more questions, uh, reach out at your strength 17. Uh, I've, been, I've been writing down everybody's questions they've been sending to me. As I can get these videos out, I'll be answering the questions. Uh, next video, we'll probably be back to what's more in my, uh, my ballpark, which is talking about practical use of the device and how we, how we use it and some, some features of actually using it in the coaching realm as opposed to the sports science talk. Uh, but uh, every question that people are sending me, I'm, I'm writing it down. We will get to it, question answer. If there's something you wanna specifically see or talk to me about, reach out at Twitter, send me a direct message. Uh, if, if I can't get to it in a question and answer, then I will answer it um, face to, or uh, via a message or a phone call. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Hope you get a chance to use VMAX Pro. If you got any questions about VMAX Pro or anything, like I said, just hit me up. Thank you. Have a good night.